You guys, yeah, I look like a dork with my backwards cap, but those moments just don't come up. A hawk captured a squirrel and I got it on film. Okay, so let's go vlog. This, the Nikon 3300 just arrived and I wanted to get it out, do a camera walk, do a review before I list it on eBay. I've got a new uh, battery, charger, and I've got a new lens for it. So I'm gonna do all the tests. Bulb test. Plant test. I just wanna really see it, how the colors handle up on this CMOS sensor compared to the beautiful, wonderful CCD that I love. And we'll see. I just love those vibrant greens. So we can have a look and see what we're dealing with out there. Now the 3300, such an awesome camera in the hand. I just love the way it feels. I mean, this I picked up for $30 out of an estate sale. Now, obviously you guys, it's difficult to get those deals. Let me just get my shoes on. Vans, done. And let's go on a photo walk. Now, I just love taking pictures of things with color. Really good colors on that old Tonka toy. The camera feels so good in the hands, so good. If you've held a Nikon D40 or a D40X, you know that they're tiny, but they just feel so beefy. I mean, this feels like you're snuggling up with a Pitbull Terrier, a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. So let's go around the block and we'll see what we're dealing with. Old school Volkswagen Transporter. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And then a lovely image of a cyclist there. As the sun breaks through, you know, you just don't get this at different times of the day. That's why these photo walks at this time of day just really make me happy. Now, as the sun breaks through over there, we should be able to get like a beautiful flare from the sunlight depending on the lens. Now this lens, it's the Nikkor 24 to 84. This is a full frame lens on a, not a full frame camera, but it was the one that was right by the side of my um, camera collection. So I thought I'd just use it. Let's see how this camera holds up now. I'm gonna have to put my camera down to Love on this beautiful cat. Hey, beautiful. You know, you just have those cats in the neighborhood that everyone just loves and you don't own it, but it kind of owns the neighborhood. This is Mittens. Mittens is an absolute superstar that loves everybody and everybody loves Mittens. Let's do some macro stuff. Macro on some cacti. All I do is I adjust my settings to the macro setting. I'm not gonna shoot manual because I'm in a rush. I am just gonna shoot macro using the macro setting. Feel pretty good about that one. Let's have a little macro session here. We'll see how we get on. Oh, this t-shirt is so ugly. You know how you see things in stores and you're just like, do you know what? I'm gonna get it and see how we, see if I can pull it off. I don't think I'll pull this off. Let's talk more about the 3300. So what do I think of this camera? 
How does it feel in the hand? Well, I think if you've seen previous videos of mine, you know that I love the 3000. Now increase the megapixels, awesome. Now better autofocus, higher megapixels. All these things can really help your photography. Here's my thing. That car is awesome. Look at that, Hyundai. It's a truck, it's a car, it's an SUV. Doubling the size of their house over there, look at that. I wonder why it's down. Oh, it's got a squirrel. Quite happy I got the shot. I try to get a picture of it taking off because it's definitely going to take off as I approach. Let's see. Isn't that awesome? That is pretty majestic, you guys. I feel so lucky to have been here and captured that image. You guys, yeah, I look like a dork with my backwards cap, but those moments just don't come up. A hawk captured a squirrel and I got it on film. I hope one of those images came out. This is new to me with this camera. If it was my 800, that would have been a different story. If it was a better lens, that would have been a different story but I hope I at least got something. And I hope that inspires you to go out and shoot because you guys, you never know. You never know what you're gonna capture. You never know what you're gonna see. You just have to get out there, enjoy it, take those pictures. It's a beautiful world, it's a beautiful day. And you know, she flew off and left the squirrel, but I'm sure she's gonna come back and get it and enjoy her dinner. And I just feel so thankful that I was there to capture that. And I hope I at least get, you know, one good image from this beautiful Nikon 3300. I'm pretty confident I did. Let's go home and see. I can't wait to get there.